flammable chemicals. Flammable chemicals are substances that can burn. They are classified as flammable or combustible according to their flash points. Flash point of a substance is defined as the lowest temperature at which the substance gives off enough vapor to ignite or explode if it is mixed with oxygen and exposed to a naked light. In Hong Kong, a substance is classified as flammable if the flash point is below 66 degrees Celsius. In order to start a fire, four criteria must be fulfilled, including the fuel, oxygen, or an oxidizing agent, a heat source, and propagation of fire. The spread or propagation of fire means that the fire, once started, should be able to initiate a chain reaction to continuously burn the fuel. This is illustrated as the fire tetrahedron. On the other hand, removing one or more factors from the fire tetrahedron essentially puts off a fire. Flammable substances can be solid, liquid, or gas. Common flammable solids include pyrophoric metals such as sodium and potassium, non-metals such as white phosphorus, solid waste such as paper soaked with a flammable liquid. Common flammable liquids include organic solvents such as diethyl ether, acetone, and alcohols. Common flammable gases include propane, hydrogen, and acetylene. Flammable chemicals must not be stored near exits, electrical equipment, or heating equipment. They should be stored in a separate, well-ventilated area and away from any ignition source. They should also be stored away from corrosive chemicals and oxidizing agents because mixing potentially leads to fire or explosion. No matter how prudent you are, accidents can happen anytime. It is very important to be aware of the firefighting measures in the surrounding. Laboratory has various firefighting measures including CO2 type fire extinguisher, fire sand, and fire blanket. In case of fire, it is intuitive to use water. However, this can worsen the situation, especially in a laboratory environment, because many chemicals actually react violently with water. CO2 type fire extinguisher and fire sand are useful because they can isolate the fuel from the oxygen. Fire blanket is used when an individual catches fire. It works by wrapping the whole body in order to put off the fire in a short period of time. Finally, there is a section on firefighting measure in the MSDS for each chemical. Before using flammable chemicals, do study the MSDS of the concerned chemicals to ensure safety.